Hi guys. It is a foggy, gloomy Friday morning in the collapse of global industrial civilization, but soon heading up to 82 degrees on this summer day in winter. And that would be Friday morning, December 31st, 2021. Uh, it is time to get the kick 2021 out of our lives and head deeper into the collapse in 2022 tomorrow. But since it is Friday morning, I'm sitting here doing what I do pretty much every Friday morning. And this will be the last time in the year 2021 we're going to head over to Manga Bay dot com to see what is on the minds of Rhett Butler and the boys and girls at Manga Bay here at the closing bell of 2021 with their uh, usual weekly laundry list of uh, assaults against this collapsing planet and uh, a lot of what uh, this is is the 2021 wrap up uh, but there's actually a lot more here, so I'm probably just going to talk until this uh, battery runs out because there is, uh, good Lord, where to even begin. And guys, you know, I'm barely touching the, the number of stories. So you take it away, Rep Butler, and let's send out uh, 2021. All right. This is the year in rainforest. Despite speculation in the early months of the corona panic that slowing economic activity might diminish forest clearing, loss of both primary forest and tree cover in the tropics accelerated between 2019 and 2020. We don't yet know just how much forest was cut down in 2021, but indications like rising deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon suggest that forest loss will be on the high end of the range from the past decade. Yes, do you think so, Rhett? Alright, uh, what is going on with land mafias in Sumatra. A government agency in Sumatra issued land titles to villagers in 2020 only to rescind them this year on the grounds that a palm oil company already holds title to the land. Yes, the flip-flop has revealed a litany of irregularities in the land titling process and strengthened suspicions of a land mafia at work securing community occupied lands for big business. Yes. The National Land Agency says that more than 100 of its own officials are suspected of being part of this mafia. Activists say the Mafia has been emboldened by the government's pro-business policies. Do you think so? From Sumatra to Madagascar, unprecedented fires in Madagascar National Park threaten lemurs and livelihood. Uh, there you go. Uh, Earlier this year, fires raged across the park. Uh, researchers say fires of this scale is unprecedented and amounts to a conservation crisis. The fires are also reducing neighboring communities' crop yields, which conservationists warn could have knock-on effects for nearby forest as hungry people turn to natural resources to survive, which is another way of saying throwing the, uh, the lemurs into the stew pot from Madagascar up the coast a little bit uh, 
and across sub-Saharan Africa to saying goodbye to the Cross River Gorilla. Good Lord. Um, I I anyway, guys, most a, a whole lot of this is just the roundup of stories from 2021. I'm going to skip over these because we've heard them. You know, they're just going back and a lot of this. So we're going to look at the new stuff. Uh, we've already answered this question. You know, they're doing this series on the illegal timber trade in the greater Mekong. You know, just as a microcosmic example of what's going on on the whole planet, they're doing this long series. So now they're asking the question, how can the illegal timber trade in the greater Mekong be stopped? Well, there's two ways to stop the illegal timber trade in the greater Mekong or anywhere else on the planet. Number one is just, well, there's three ways. Number one is just to call the illegal logging legal logging. And that's the end of the illegal trade. But then you would be over in the, in the legal logging. So the second option is just to cut down every single tree in the Mekong Delta and every tree on the planet. That would end it. And number three is how about having humans go extinct? It's not an army of beavers, okay? There's two animals that cut down trees, humans and beavers. Since there are no beavers in the Mekong Delta cutting down trees, how about making planet Earth a human exclusion zone? As long as there is one human on this planet uh, no tree is safe. I'm, I'm looking at, at two big trees I cut down right behind this camera last year. All right. And guys, I am just flying through this. Uh, all right. Madagascar has a new trawling. <coughs> uh, some new trawling laws. Is, uh, <coughs> Madagascar's... <coughs> auction for near shore trawling licenses has elicited <clears throat> concern do you think so two chinese backed firms won nearly half of the new fishing licenses one of them has brought in vessels that were caught fishing illegally in west africa last year so they just came around to east africa and the other which was already fishing in Madagascar uh, may have violated national fishing regulations this year. So <clears throat> if you're already there violating the law, just get the, uh, the fisheries ministry to give you license to fish there. All right, more looking back over 2021. Here is this uh, sick, twisted story on tiger farming. Tiger farming doing little to end wild poaching. Good Lord. Uh, I'm just going to read some of the, some of these. I just have time to hit the headlines. All right, I will touch on summing up Manga Bay's top Amazon stories from 2021. Deforestation rates hit a 15-year high while fires flared up again, combining to turn Brazil's portion of the Amazon into a net carbon source for the first time ever. Yep, yep. And of course, uh, indigenous communities continue to be hit by a barrage of outside pressures. Uh, all right. Indonesia's new epicenter of forest fires have shifted away from Sumatra and Borneo to other places in Indonesia, uh, <clears throat> probably because 
Sumatra and Borneo have pretty much burned to the ground already. All right, uh, let's look at one particular uh, reserve in the Brazilian Amazon. Santo is not chasing you, is he? I guess not. My buddy's leaving. All right. Here you go, we can take this and multiply it about 500 times around the planet. Rampant forest destruction racks reserve as cattle ranching advances in the Brazilian Amazon. The Terra do Maico ecological station comprises some 3.3 million hectares I think that's over 7 million acres in the Brazilian Amazon state of Pará, which is home to hundreds of species, including those threatened with extinction. But despite its protected status, the 7 million acre protected area has come under growing pressure. Uh, with deforestation doubling in 2021. Environmentalists say the destruction is being driven by illegal loggers, cattle ranchers, and land speculators spilling over from the neighboring protected area, a sustainable use reserve, a sustainable use reserve that has already become the most deforested slice of the Brazilian Amazon in recent years. And pending legislation could make it even easier to legalize illegitimate land claims, providing hope to land speculators and cattle ranchers that they could soon receive land titles for land they have deforested and occupied legally, illegally. So there you go. There is some hopium that uh, I, the land speculators, cattle ranchers, loggers, miners, they're all of them will be celebrating uh, tonight, uh, New Year's Eve, uh, that is the, you better believe, topium is overflowing with all of the planet eaters. Um, more 2021 round up, uh, here is 2021 Ocean Review. Uh, I think we can uh, we can review the ocean in 2021. Uh -uh! All right, here we go. Back to Sub-Saharan Africa. Kenya court orders the return of 13 million dollars in seized rosewood back to the suspected traffickers. Yes, a Kenyan court ordered the release of 646 metric tons of rosewood logged in Madagascar worth up to $13 million returned back to a Hong Kong uh, based company from which it had been seized. Do you think so? Here is visions of a post supply chain society commentary by Nicholas Kolzoff. Yes, and what he's talking about essentially is Corona panic being a bad hair day compared to what is coming down the pike. <clears throat> Quote. Now that the corona panic has exposed underlying weaknesses in the, you know, the supply chain system, there will undoubtedly be a reckoning by some. But perhaps 
the real question is whether we have wrestled with more severe challenges like climate change, which will disrupt lives to an even greater degree. Indeed, if consumers think Corona panic posed a headache for holiday shopping, imagine how rising sea levels, massive increases in temperatures, severe wildfires, and flooding will place additional stress on orderly supply chains, close quote. Oh, we got some sad news. We have two people died this week. Edward O. Wilson, prominent biologist, has died at 92. Rest in peace, Edward Wilson and Thomas Lovejoy also died. I can't even remember that I interview, I think I interviewed Thomas Lovejoy. You know, he was a big Amazon. Uh, I'm pretty sure I interviewed Thomas Lovejoy a couple of years ago. He was one of those uh, Amazon rainforest uh, conservationists, wrote quite a bit for Manga Bay, I'm one of the good guys. So we have lost Edward O. Wilson and uh, Thomas Lovejoy. Here's to you, fellas. That's too bad. All right, here is their roundup of palm oil studies. Um, I think we've heard of that. Here is the roundup for the Congo Basin stories. All right, what is going on in Nepal here in the closing bell of 2021? As its glaciers melt, Nepal is forced into an adaptation not of its choosing. Climate change is causing the glaciers in Nepal's Himalayan region to melt at an alarming rate, threatening fragile ecosystems, vulnerable communities, and billions of people downstream who rely on the rivers fed by the ice pack. By 2100, the Himalayan region could lose up to two-thirds of its glaciers, a study shows. This means water shortages, less food for livestock, and increased risk of natural disasters such as landslides and glacial lake flash floods. I, I love this. So uh, we talked about how teak wood, how critically endangered teak wood from uh, Asian uh, rainforest, you know, pretty much uh, going extinct, and, and how all of these billionaires are putting teak wood into their super yacht. Take a wild guess uh, who is. Uh, uh, putting teak wood into apparently the biggest super yacht ever built. That would be Jeff Bezos, the world's second richest person, who of course just uh, announced his $10 billion uh, Earth Fund. Yes. The, uh, the Dutch company making Bezos' yacht defended its use of teak in its projects, such as Bill, I mean, uh, Jeff Bezos' yacht, saying Bezos' teak was legally sourced. There you go. All right, then we look at Indonesia's wrap up for 2021. Well, as I say, I just have to skip through all of these. Who is the number one world's, the world's number one importer of oil from the Amazon rainforest? That would be California. Yeah, 
yep, yep, yep. California is the single biggest importer of oil from the Amazon rainforest, with Ecuador being the largest exporter. Yep. Uh, the uh, as Ecuador's president announced plans to double the country's oil production. Yep, yep, yep. We've already talked about that story. All right, now this one, the top positive environmental news stories from 2021, obviously, my hopium, the lead-off uh, hopium roundup rant for 2022 will be tomorrow on January 1st. I will open up I will close Collapse Chronicles with Manga Bay, and we're going to open 2022 with Rhett Butler's list of Manga Bay's most positive environmental uh, news stories. You, you know, uh, Rhett Butler is a little bit of a an apocaloptimist. I think Rhett's son is three years old. His bouncing baby boy, I think, is three years old this year, maybe four by now. And uh, But we're going to come back in uh, tomorrow's Hopium Roundup with the top positive environmental news stories from 2021. Yep, yep, yep. Um, anyway, guys... Uh, I just, I realize I'm talking to myself. Uh, here is what has the corona panic done to forest policies. Anyway, I would love to get on to that, but uh, we're not going to go there. Uh, okay, back to the Brazilian Amazon Slashed forest protections ignites land-grabbing frenzy in the Brazilian Amazon. Yes. Uh, talking about how uh, Brazil is, uh, you know, just completely, the, it's the absolute joke of protected areas, how... Uh, Brazil is, is just completely decimating its uh, protected areas and uh, just more and more just handing them over to the planet eaters. This will certainly be uh, skyrocketing uh, in, uh, in 2022. Here is how the global ayahuasca trend is driving deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon. Good Lord. You know, all of these spiritual ayahuasca quaffers down there to save the planet by drinking ayahuasca. Do you believe that secrecy shrouds a new gold mining deal in Guyana's Maruti Mountains. Uh, a gold mining deal between the government of Guyana and a group of miners has stirred up controversy as it permits mining on a mountain range that sustains Riga river ecosystems that indigenous communities depend on. Uh, imagine that. Uh, anyway, asking the question, uh, could the blockchain we're just going to end up here because I got to go make sure my dog didn't chase my buddy down the road. So we are going to wind up 2021 with a question. Could the blockchain help save the Amazon rainforest? The answer to the question, could the blockchain 
help save the Amazon is no, the blockchain cannot help save the Amazon. But we're going to wrap up with this quote. This is a commentary by Sophia Wood. This is going to be the final quote of 2021. <clears throat> quote, the cause of deforestation in the Amazon is multifaceted, but it comes down to one single issue. Many governments, businesses, and stakeholders on the ground believe the Amazon rainforest is currently considered to be worth more cut down than preserved and standing, close quote. Thank you for cutting through the BS. There is, well, there's eight billion reasons the Amazon rainforest is under attack, but the number one reason, not counting the eight billion uh, reasons consuming the uh, Amazon rainforest is that everybody considers the Amazon rainforest to be worth more money cut down than left standing. Do you get it? And you better believe the Amazon rainforest is going to be worth more money in 2022 cut down than it is in 2021. This is why Amazon deforestation rates are going to continue to skyrocket next year. But we're going to say hats off to Rhett Butler and the boys and girls for another fine year of reporting. Uh, let's give Rhett and the boys and girls at mongabay.com a big hand and then we're going to kick off tomorrow with the positive, the positive environmental stories that Mongabay brought us this year. But right now, get out there and party like it's 2021 because there is no telling what kind of shit is going to hit the fan next year. Little dog, where are you? I would let Sancho Panza wave goodbye, but Sancho Panza has disappeared. I gotta go find my dog. I will see you in 2022. May you have a hopium-filled new year, my guys.